Labor Day weekend 2019 and this is the trailhead for the Garanaxa Trail where, there, where it enters the Queen Elizabeth Wildlands um, from the south side. Way just after 7 in the morning and uh, we just entered the trail, the parking is just up the street. And uh, it's quite cool. I was putting my hands in my pockets to keep my hands warm. And yet it's supposed to hit a high of 20 today and 23 tomorrow. No chance of rain. And uh, I've already had one mosquito taste me. So we need to get in the bug spray on a little sooner than I was estimating. So right now we're walking through private land and then the actual park. Uh, we cross the boundary soon and uh, we are going to walk, hike all the way up from the south to what's called Petticoat Junction on the trail and then we're planning on turning uh, left, going round Victoria Lake to Wolf Lake. We always feel like we're, or look like we're really loaded down, but uh, I think sometimes it's just stuff is, uh, especially the bedding isn't maybe as compressed as it might be. And so it takes up a fair amount of room. But we actually are traveling fairly light this trip. We are going around a lake, which I hadn't found a name for. And uh, so the trail follows the lake a bit. The sun's just coming up as we're between 7 and 8 in the morning. And you hear the birds chirping. And you hear the mosquitoes buzzing around you. They seem desperate this year to um, find bodies. We have our homemade bug repellent and uh, we're hypothesizing that because we made it last week and then delayed our trip because of weather that it has a shelf life and that the active ingredient may have uh, uh, I guess it reacts with what it's mixed with and isn't as potent. The one thing I want to try and capture, if the underbrush gives me a chance, and it's going to be right into the sun, but it's one of those mornings when the steam is coming off the lake. In fact, I can't see the lake because of the steam. We found a better place to get a view, especially with uh, some trees hiding the sun a bit. The lake though, uh, I think it's all filled in, but with this steam coming off it, it must be pretty mushy out there. There's long grass though up here at the shore. Okay, well we're about two kilometers into our hike, and they put a very nice sign here. And. Uh, I'd say we're fairly experienced, and I would say we knew we were coming to a somewhat challenging hiking trail. And uh, we have a trail map on our phone in, with the GPS app. 18 kilometers to the next trailhead, but it doesn't do any good getting there because your car is at the previous one. But anyway, yeah, so they're warning you. <laughs> so, yeah, let's find the trail. It's got to be around the back of this tree. Oh, okay. Going up that hill. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, they had a sign that said it was a challenging hiking trail. And lo and behold, it's not just a steep hill. So. Oh, somebody left the toy there. 
Oh dear, we saw a dog shoe on a branch earlier on. Now we're seeing a dinosaur? Wow. I don't think that's a sign of anything. Jurassic Parkette. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, there's dinosaurs here. Yes. Okay. There's many. <clears throat> so they give you entertainment while you're climbing up the steep, rocky part of the trail. Okay, well that piece is done. So we're two and a half kilometers and about one hour into our hike and we stopped because it was hot. We had to take our jackets off. So we're down to just, to, I guess I've got two shirts, a long sleeve and a short sleeve on top of each other. And uh, we had our breakfast and I had been warming the bug spray by trying to we found the problem with the bug spray, or I should say the bug repellent, was that the coconut oil had gone hard and trapped all the active ingredient in it. So I put it in a pocket where it would get real warm and it melted. And now it has more odor of citrus, which is the active ingredient. And uh, we're hoping that's gonna work better. But it's still early, it's just after eight in the morning, so. Uh, so the bugs aren't, uh, too, shouldn't be too active just yet because there's not a lot of hot sun burning down on us. It's only our body heat keeping us warm, it's not that warm out. So we are crossing our first, it's not a beaver dam, it's the creek running out of a beaver dam. So they've been nice enough to throw this stick down that you can tightrope walk across, but I don't think I can do it while I'm holding a camera. What does it look, what do I look like? <laughs> uh, you're tending to a beehive. <laughs> this is where we stopped to have our the rest of our breakfast and the snack. It's sort of up the top of a hill. So went down the bottom there, there's a little creek to cross. And there's a sign through here where it has been labeled by the locals as Scrabble Mountain. And so the trail, they're calling Scrabble Mountain Trail. Now we're on the Ganaraxa hiking trail, which sometimes is on their tra uh, mount or ATV trail, and sometimes not. So uh, as it turns out, we're sharing the Scrabble Mountain Trail for a bit because there's a blaze on that tree up ahead. But there's another ATV trail heading off down there, and. There's another one heading off around that corner and we were on one which comes up here over these rocks. <laughs> oh, our bug spray isn't very effective today. Uh, it seems that it doesn't have a very long shelf life after you mix it up. We came to a corner in the trail. Dog poops.
So we've come up to a bridge and the question is do you go around the bridge over a dam or just go over the bridge? And since I'm not, this is an ATV trail but I'm not an ATV so I can try the bridge. So far so good even if I jump on it. Um, I don't think I can turn around. <laughs> I have to go along here to turn around. Okay, that's, I'm going to feel better with that because that was scary. It's just all those nails and you don't know how many of the boards are rotten. We stopped in this clearing and because we just felt like a break and I said Jenny we had lunch here um, a couple of years ago or is it last year uh, when we were doing this hike this would be the one from Devil's Lake so it was the one in September so it was it was probably this weekend last year and so I said we'll film it and then uh, see if we can find it in the other video and compare. Maybe it's uh, just an identical looking spot. But what I did remember, although you can't see it from here, is that it was off a big, big wide open stretch of trail over rock, which is from there all the way past this picnic area down around behind that tree. I packed all this up and it took up a little bit of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I that. Yeah, stuff's falling down. Go back. No, no, don't. And then you can't find any of I'm very close. Everything's going to come out. You see the very tiny socks. I thought you were between your legs. No. It's... Mm, it should be here. I think it was with... There they are. There you go. Mm -hmm. Why you put this one inside? I don't know. It's just my instinct told me to wear those as over socks and the and the regular socks wear those as well. I just it's just this this shoes is a bit big. Well, they have to be to allow you to have the, the thicker socks, and you need the extra padding. Uh, and the six sock the six socks in is still big. Oh, so you should have had full size socks, maybe. Mm. Mm. It's not going to rain, right? Uh, no, it's not supposed to. Okay.
put your sock on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you film? We're going. We are. Oh. Okay. Okay. Like the moon cake. This is our moon cake. Yes. Gift from your cousin mm -hmm. and his wife. Yeah. Ooh. So this has to be a very good place to eat mooncakes. You didn't get a big of good stuff. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna have so. to the middle part. Just bite it. I don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in the middle of a non-operating provincial park. <coughs> so there's no entry fee, no map, no rescue guys. We're right in the middle of it, having mooncakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Unfortunately, I can't squat that long. You gotta put everything back together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe I should stop this, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The way you came from. This is where I came from. Yeah. So you come towards me. No, we're just coming that way. No? Just get this. Right over there. Where is it? Just go straight down the trail.
we've come across this wasp nest, which is much bigger than the biggest one we ever had at home. Yep, I can see wasps going in and out. Wow. Okay, back onto the trail. Back to woods, that means maybe back to mosquitoes. Um, I think so. What's really neat about this segment is that as you walk through here and you come up to where I am and look to my left when she gets here, we find out that we've been traveling about eight feet below the level of the water in the lake. Ooh. No, it's not eight feet. Well, it's six at least. Okay. And there is the top of the lake. Oh yeah, I remember you said this. Yeah, I was always disappointed the sun was shining at me when I tried to capture this last trip. And you couldn't really get the feel for it. And I don't even think I pointed the camera right. And then we have to continue on down here. Is this the trail? I think so. And then when you come out to the next little lake, it's a lot lower. I think it's got to be nine feet lower. And then you look along the end and it's like an infinity pool. There's another dam at the end over there. Let me zoom in and see if that can come out better. That is really hard to cross, yes. See, the trouble is everything reflects in the water, so it's really hard to make anything out. And uh, Jenny's having a lot of trouble getting across here. Underbrush, when you're trying to get around bits of trees and saplings and stuff, they really make it a lot harder to get around. And very often they're full of prickles, those little saplings.
beautiful breeze on the top of a crest in the trail. And then on we go. <laughs> you make it look so hard though. It is hard. No. Yeah, it's just hard to back down and do and do filming. How'd you do? I got some time of in my Oh, great. Oh, that stings. Oh, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> I'm glad I have the stick. Helps you balance. Yeah. As always, I want to do a walk around of our campsite. So there's the trail marker. The trail comes right through our campsite, but um, we hope it won't be busy at night. So the reason we know it's a campsite is because there's a bunch of rocks in a circle there. That's about as designated as campsites get here. It's just that there wasn't an obvious place to put the tent until we stomped around and found there was a nice flat piece of uh, ground there. In fact, it's level, it's flat, it's soft. I don't know what more you could actually ask for except that it was stomped down. Um, water access is a bit of a problem. I can't even film going down to get it and this isn't where we do it. This is where we can't do it. It's just way too steep. But if I go down the trail there's a place where I actually can but there's a lot of jagged rocks to climb over. So I filtered our first uh, probably three liters of water. I'm ready to filter more when we stopped using it, but we're cooking. I say it's lunch, Jenny says it's dinner. We're too late in the day after four to be having a meal calling it lunch. And uh, we have a very nice view over Victoria Lake, which is, and this isn't the campsite we had last time we camped on Victoria Lake, but we couldn't quite go any farther. Jenny's hip is acting up and uh, my upper back was feeling rather strained from the backpack. There's a chipmunk. He's been very active here. There he is. Yeah, he's coming up to check out. He's pretty sure that we've left our treats out. So he wants to go through everything. We did see something neat. There is a cottage across the way, and when we went to the, when we were coming up here, the next campsite is like at the next out jutting of rocks, and there was a guy at that campsite kind of standing there, and eventually the, the guy left his girlfriend on the shore, he went in the water, swam across to the cottage, got a canoe, canoed back, got his 
girlfriend or wife and they went over to the cottage and I guess they're up there now. So probably the campsite over there is currently unused. But we're all set up here, so. <laughs> I don't think we're, we're uh, going to actually move, even though this one doesn't appear to be quite as legal a campsite as the next one beside us. We got away from the car at 10 after 7, and we got to the campsite at quarter... 2-4. Two 2-4. Two yeah. And we didn't get past the end of Victoria Lake and down and around Wolf Lake because uh, we were both, things were going wrong. My back, your hips, they were saying no. We were at 19.6 kilometers of hiking. Yes. The last bit was really rough. And uh, we burned, at least I burned, and you probably burned a wee less, 5,000, almost 700 calories. Yes. And plus, you, when we came here, you up and down like ten times. To no, get I, water. I, that's that's included. No, that wasn't. No, I, I, I left the my zone going until I brought the water up. Oh, I did no. another three trips. Yes. Yes, and put the heart into yellow each time. So, yeah. well, there's easily another three hundred calories there. And uh, what was the other thing? The distance. The, what am I missing? I think the trail is when the when kilometers. We, no, when we started the trails, full of mosquitoes. Oh boy! Sunday morning of the Labor Day weekend, and I was up first, and I came out and let the stick stove and made a cup of coffee for each of us. And while I was at it, I lit the campfire and. Uh, Jenny's knit just now making instant noodle soup for breakfast. And using the stick stove, <laughs> He's talking we, about your stick stove. We, can, we can just cook them, boil water all day long. And uh, it just uses a little bit of sticks. I've got the next little batch right there waiting to go in. So let's take a look at the lake in front of our campsite. A real close look. There's a cottage over there. It appears to be a swim-in. We saw the guy swim in last night from the campsite beside us. And then he got a canoe and came back and got his uh, lady friend or wife or whatever. And they went over there and camped out for the night. Let's see if I can, and I have to be very careful because this goes down a long way over that rock. Yep, Victoria Lake is quite attractive. And this morning I put up our clothesline. And the tent was amazingly comfortable considering there wasn't really a prepared uh, place to put a tent. This is a seems to be an ad hoc campsite that somebody made because there was nowhere else to stay. The only thing that was really here was a bunch of firewood and some rocks in a circle on a big rock to have a campfire in. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Just 
step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell morning, since we're going to stay with base camp back where we set up last night, we're doing a, I've got a day pack and Jenny's got nothing but a stick, a walking stick. And we are now continuing down the trail, covering where we gave up yesterday afternoon and then going beyond that and we're really determined to get to Wolf Lake.
This is a uh, water feature like you'd find in a very expensively manicured backyard. So as the water drips over that rock and it falls into the little river, the creek, you get that trickling sound. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yes, he is. There he goes. He's down. Yeah. The people that fly tend to be very keen on flying. It's their freedom. We stopped at Wolf Lake and we're not that hungry for lunch, so we just had a drink of water and we're sitting on a rock and resting and the rock looks about like that <laughs> huge rock and we're actually just across a tiny little inlet from a canoe in campsite Okay, it's okay laughing, but um, it doesn't have a lot of meaning. Yeah. What do you think? The guy said, um, on the way here, we, we saw a guy and they passed us, a couple. Uh -huh. I think they're our age, but they're much stronger than we are. They hike farther anyway. They hike. Well, I don't think they hike further. Oh. If they come in from... Um, Black River. No, Black River. Oh. Devil's River? Devers. Oh, okay. They're from the other end. De oh, Devil's short. Lake. That'd be shorter. Yeah, that's right. That's not that far. But they stretch it to Lone Lake. We couldn't make it. We couldn't even make it to Wolf Lake. Yeah, well, they had more people, so they may have had less No, uh, no, no, they're a different weight. group. They're a different group. Oh, really? They should have met on the road. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the guy said, all these people living on this... Um, on this side. On this island, yeah. the cottage. Literally, they have to airplane everything here. Yeah. They have the seaplanes that land on the lake. Uh -huh. I and thought it was some people, they are rich just playing. Playing land, with the plane, yeah. You own, land a, you own a cottage, you own a plplane. plane, you own... All that no. stuff. No, it's a company. They he said it was rent a company. them out. Yeah. But I'm not sure he was right. So you don't know if he was right or not. Uh, How could it you? makes sense. The, 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 yeah, because you see the planes, they stay at, at uh, Devil's Lake. Yeah. You see them parked there. Yeah, <clears> but then it's very fast to take it off. Yeah, well, he has to because it's not that long a lake once you get speed up on it. I know what I mean is he didn't stay there like oh I will take one yeah. hour then we'll take off and then you know stay yeah, there. Yeah I don't know how they like do they they, don't, they must lunch. drive right up to the dock and then toss something on the dock. Have a lunch or we just yeah. leave. I wanted the lake to at the background. No we keep going on the slant. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, I think we're probably done, right? Mm -hmm. So this seaplane just came and landed on Wolf Lake. And although you can't see it, there's a cottage in the trees. And the, um... So this plane is, is their rentals. And these planes come and bring supplies to the, uh... To the cottagers who have rented the cottage for the weekend. And there's a canoe in his way. It's plumb. Yeah, no, I'm sure you can see it. He's gonna stir a lot of waves for the canoe, right? Yep. So he has to be careful because he doesn't want to do that. 
Camino has a chance to flip over. Yeah, he's he's not in the full stream. It's the canoe. So we're crossing the area between Wolf Lake and Victoria Lake, which is very squishy. Ugh. Oh! And I'm glad that I have boots that offer some water seal. And boy, does it ever grow up high, because there's tons of water available for all the plants here. Okay, so this is a this is a beaver dam. And then this part is very annoying. It's like a tightrope going across with, I guess you have two logs. And I have no hiking pole, which would have really helped to have like a third foot. This is uh, the edge of the dam where the water runs over and trickles away in amongst all that grass. Oh, oh. oh, my knees. Oh, honey. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh, that was a lot easier on, than on the way in. Well, we're not actually quite out, are we? Uh, the, the mush of it. Oh. <clears throat> I remember it like this. You said it was 
it as if it's a wrong way. Yeah, I, I it felt like it. It is the right way because you really have to go around it. So I think we go straight here. Yeah, you can cross it. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm stepping here and then over to here. Done. Are you trying to use an alternate route? We're actually trying to go up there, so I don't know where I was going. <laughs> Sometimes I get the feeling you take the hard route. Oh, you don't like to jump across. Okay. Completely across the, uh, I don't know what you call all that, but it's basically starting as a beaver dam. And then I guess it's old and nature has helped fill in areas. And it's between Wolf Lake and Victoria Lake. Where I think it was a peninsula between two pieces of lake and then the beavers decided to cut it off and how you make can two see lakes. This? How did we cross? Well, through all that thick underbrush, beside all that pooled water, and, uh, and then we started over there from where that, those two big trees are. here, Victoria Lake. You can see the trail start here. It's the trail blaze. And then the trail goes across over there, the other side. So 
We're having a uh, Chinese lung cake uh -huh. today at the Victoria Lake by the campfire. In Queen Elizabeth Wildlands, which is in the middle of nowhere. Uh -huh. It's a non-operating provincial park and there's only a couple of other people that came onto the property like us today. And it, it's just, uh, uh, we have to do it early because yeah, I don't want to... Uh, we don't want to be perfectly dark. It, it is very dark because it's not really... Um, Right yeah. Now. So no. we have to do it. So I got this mooncake from my cousin and his wife. And uh, so I'm just up both of them up. And this is the mooncake. It's not really mooncake day yet, but we just celebrate it earlier. Yeah, we have to. We have to. Pretty sure. Cheers. Gambe. Gambay. Tomorrow <laughs> we have almost 20 kilometers to hike out. We'll need that for energy. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having our own wilderness mooncake festival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Cheers. No, I'll mine. <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a North American. <laughs> Isn't there a, a Chinese chant you should say? I don't know. I don't know what is Chinese. Namaste. It's Japanese. I know. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop that. <laughs> we might do something else stupid. <laughs> You want to talk about your shaver. What is special I about this? I found this camping electric shaver. It's incredibly light. It runs on the same cells as my headlamp, which I have a portable charger for. And so then I can shave. Without having to have soap and all the mess of a blade shaver. And it's a the best is because it's a light, right? And it's, it weighs very, very little. Even with the batteries in, it weighs very little. How about the shave, like, very clean? Do you, you like seems, it? It's, it was brand new, so it's a lot better than my current electric shaver because the blades are sharper. Oh. It's a bit slower because the batteries are smaller. Okay. But it, it does the work. That's Seems the whole point, right? Yep. Is this your first time to use it? No. I used it a bunch of other times to make sure it was okay to bring camping. Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to bring a shaver camping and find out I couldn't shave with it. <laughs> and I'd say, what a waste of weight. Yeah. So, no, I used it and I actually found a problem that it didn't fit tightly enough. So I found that after I clean it, I need to use a little bit of hot glue gun to make sure that the head stays on real tight. You know the brand name? Nope. <laughs> you it just... was on the box, but I forgot what it was. Oh, okay. So no, this isn't a sponsored link. <laughs> yeah, so can I have a close shot? Mm-hmm. See the shape? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing... Ri oh, you know what? The I have an instruction manual. It's probably got something on it. Mm. Okay, keep shaving. Okay.
So Jenny, there's this 15 liter, well it's half full, <laughs> liter of, of filtered water and two for taking the backpack plus I just filled your wash basin, the little yeah. collapsible one. So I can do a bird bath. It's bird. reminding me of somebody who was filming a movie in Toronto and would not bathe in Toronto lake water unfiltered, just like we wouldn't bathe in, oh we would bathe in Victoria Lake water unfiltered. Anyway, um, what, what she did is she wanted to get an inventory control system from me for her bottled water. And here you are with the equivalent of bottled water. It's filtered lake water and you're bathing in it. <laughs> Yeah, it's there. Where's the trail? <laughs> it's up here. Oh. The other people walk down there, but... Well, there isn't actually any blazes there. Is it up there? No. So... Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, here's a blaze. Okay. We need to do our uh, selfie wrap-up piece. Oh, wrap-up. We're going to get out here. No, the wrap... Well, okay. Labor Day, Monday morning. No, yeah, Monday morning. Yes, September 1st, 2019. I think it's the second. First. Tomorrow's second. Really? Anyway, it's Labor Day of 2019, and we are leaving our campsite. And uh, this time we had to put most of the stuff in my backpack. Uh, Jenny's knees and hips were fatigued badly on yes. Saturday. After 20 kilometers, it was a heavy load. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was irritable. And to me, that's a good reason <laughs> to say you're done. <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, good point. Yeah, we... Uh, 7.25, we got up at 5.30. Uh, and the reason we took two hours before leaving was because today we're having breakfast because in looking at the sites for getting water on the way back it looked like it would be a mosquito hell so we decided we better do our food now and do our hike and try not to need any more water so we don't have to stop gather it filter it so we can cook with it <clears throat> so I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do because I'm now loaded much heavier than when I came in. <laughs> but I just don't want to strain Jenny's knees and hips. Hip, it's only one. <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying to think how long the, the distance will be. Probably, uh, was it 18? No, it was almost 20 coming in. I bet it's only about 19 or 18 going out because we're not going to get lost, for one thing. We did wind off. Oh no, no, that is the tree. It fell off. It fell off where he cut and stopped there in the top, up there, rested in another tree and it never fell down. So he's not able to take the tree away. Poor beaver. <laughs> he wasted all that effort. Your shoes are all socked, right? No. No, fine. Just make sure every step is not slippery. Yeah, it's 
That really went bad. <sighs> We're at this junction again after I think it's almost two hours hiking. Two hours, eight minutes moving. And how many? 5.3 kilometers. 5.3 kilometers of hiking. We're pretty slow. Oh. Two hours is supposed to be. Five. Oh no, we're not. Five, yeah, Five. that's pretty good. We're pretty good. Yeah. So we still have 11.4 kilometers to go. This is the, um, this noise is from this, uh, um, I would say fly taxi. <laughs> oh, okay. Fly taxi. If we go this one, this way to Devil's Lake, it's only 5.9, which is very easy. This one is going to be 11.4. Um, anyway, this is where we choose and that's the cars over there. We have to go this way. How do you feel, Dave? Oh, um, well, I'm old. Everything hurts, but right now it hurts differently. <laughs> <laughs> Are your leg hurt? No, my leg, uh, my knee hurt once for a short bit and stopped. And uh, the problem I have is if I hang my backpack on my shoulders, my shoulders start to hurt. If I hold it with my arms, my arms start to hurt. And if I let it sit on my waist, my waist starts to hurt. As long as your leg is not hurting, wish you would be good. Okay, legs are pretty good. Yeah. Because literally legs is the one that's, that's taking the most uh, work. Well, the, the, the hip is taking the same amount of work, but it's a huge joint compared to the knees. Mm. I just feel like um, my, my knee and my hip feel like little pain but it's not severe because I took pill. Um, I think it's not that serious. It's an anti-inflammatory. It helps it heal much faster, the, the muscles heal faster from the previous days and it stops inflammation building up around the joints so you, you can get strained as much. So you did see those people, they're passing us, they have like more energy we had because that's what they went only six. That's right. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't do, they cut out well over five kilometers. Yeah. And also their backpack is much lighter. Yeah. I could see the women's. She just has a little bag. Okay. Someday we're going to invest in more expensive, lighter backpacks. Yep. No, someday. Next trip. <laughs> okay. Oh. So we're halfway from almost. our camp, almost halfway from our campsite to our car. Gone. <laughs> the mosquitoes are really bad. Yeah. Well, they like you. They're not touching me. Why don't we have our mooncake? Our mooncake. Okay. We don't have any liquor to wash it down. We have water. Or at least we have liquor, but we shouldn't. Uh, and drink it. I want to drink it. Okay, happy mooncake. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. We are literally right in the middle of nowhere. Eating a life by mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one is different. This one 
doesn't have to be the worst one. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's so quiet in here. Like a 
on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From And we're out at the road. Yes, we just have to walk to the parking. So, we can't believe it, we did it. 3,700 calories as opposed to the amount to get in, which is a lot higher. It's so and you six and hours and 50 minutes. We meant to and in the great outdoors. Let me get the 17.3 uh, kilometers. You can tell 